Irish uh, member of European Wallace. Parliament, Mick Wallace. Well, I don't know enough about his politics, but his commentary here is on point. The housing crisis in most countries in Europe, people are waiting too long to get a medical appointment, and we can't spend enough money on military? How can you sleep at night? Ireland reaches another record high. Ireland has the highest housing costs in the EU, 112% above the EU average. You said that, that, that it's not a very profitable industry. I, I beg to differ. I think the arms industry does really well. And it loves war because you make money from war. If I made raincoats and umbrellas, I couldn't sell them if it didn't rain. Is the US a functioning democracy? Well, let's have a look at it. It costs two billion to become president. Been at war for 250 years, but they can't afford universal health care. Is this a functioning democracy? The Americans couldn't spell democracy. Your incompetence is helping Russia. Putin and his cronies have got complete control of their economy again, thanks to ye. You should like children. If you wouldn't get a decent job, this wouldn't in the real world. I'm actually surprised, Nikolai, to tell lies about me. I have never in my life said a good word about Putin. That because we fight for peace, we're accused of being Putin puppets. We've condemned the war. It's completely illegal. What's wrong with you? And if you're so goddamn fond of the war, why aren't you over there fighting yourself? Why did Mr. von der Leyen go to Tel Aviv to greenlight an Israeli genocide? I am deeply concerned about my Irish colleague. But in your upside down world, you are calling the democratic states the terrorists. You're calling Israel a democratic state. Democratic states, they don't bomb hostels, refugee camps and people's homes. They don't commit genocide. If the EU wants a sustainable solution in the area of asylum and migration, we need to stop bombing people's homes. We should pursue a policy of peace. Ireland, the US's most important ally in many ways. Who told you that? I made it up. America was built on freedom. Freedom for who though? America. You say everything.